Hello, Mari. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening, Mari. It's nice to have you here once again. And hello, Rene. Welcome. How are you, Rene? Um, hey, okay, teacher. Amazing. Nice to have you here again, Rene. And we have... Um, Juan Antonio, welcome. Is that you, Juan Antonio? Android Blue Droid, what is your name? Miguel, sorry. Hello, Miguel. How are you today? Hi, teacher. Good morning. Good night, <laughs> perdón. <laughs> Good evening, Miguel. Welcome. It's nice to have you here again, Miguel. Thank you, teacher. And hello, Ronald. How are you, Ronald? How are you doing, Ronald? Fine. So, so. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello. I am fine. Fine. Amazing. Hello. Nice. Nice to have you here, Ronald. And we also have Jose. Jose Sura. How are you, Jose? Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Jose. How are you today? I'm nervous because it's the first class. Sorry, can you repeat that, please? I'm nervous because it is the first class. Ah, you're nervous because it's the first class. But don't worry, Jose, don't worry. You're going to do great. And now, let's see, just one more minute. Let's wait for the others, and then we are going to get started. We have Cecilia. Cecilia Caballero, how are you, Cecilia? I'm fine, teacher. Amazing. Nice to have you here. Can I call you Ceci? I'm sorry? Can I call you Ceci or Cecilia? Uh, Ceci. Okay. So Ceci, nice to have you here. And welcome, everybody. Most of you already know me. My name is Gabriela Avelar. Algunos de ustedes ya me conocen. Mi nombre es Gabriela Avelar. Y yo voy a estar con ustedes en el pre-intermediate three. I'm really happy to be your teacher. And just a couple of things be before we start. Un par de cosas antes de que comencemos. Siempre, siempre entrar con su username, ahí con el nombre para que yo los pueda llamar, para que participemos. Y también si tienen alguna pregunta, alguna duda, no tengan miedo de preguntar. Y si a la hora de participar ustedes no se recuerdan de algo, tienen duda, también sin pena hacen su pregunta o me dicen teacher, no me recuerdo. Y no pasa nada, ¿verdad? Todos aquí vamos a aprender juntos. So, let's begin. And, let's see who else do we have here. Hello, Jacqueline. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Fine, thank you. And you? I'm great. Nice to have you here, Jacqueline. And now, guys, look at this. For the first class, we have a review. There is and there are. So, we are going to start with an activity. In this activity, you are going to tell me what is in the picture. For example, in the picture, there is a TV and they are watching Superman. Look at this, Superman. So that is what you are going to do. You are going to tell me what you see. Is that clear? Yes, no, do you have a question or is the activity clear? Okay, very good. So if it's clear, let's begin with a participant. And my first participant is going to, to be Ceci. What is in the in the picture, Ceci? Uh, what's in the picture? Mm -hmm. Um there uh there is a computer 
Aha, uh -huh, very good. What else? One more. And um, there is a window. A window, very good. There is a window. There are two windows. Very good, Tessie. Mm -hmm. And now let's see, let me ask. Rene, what is in the picture, Rene? Hey, teacher. Escucha. Yes, Rene, I can hear you. Okay, yes. Um, uh, windows. Ah, windows, door. very good. There door is a door. door. Uh, uh, com computer. Very good. Mm -hmm. uh, chair, silla. Very good, a chair. Television. A TV, very good. And backpack. A backpack, yes, very good. Um, cell phone. A cell phone, let's see, there we go, very good, there is a cell phone. Uh, floor, el piso. Did you... The floor, very good. <laughs> uh, Table, table ping, no? Ah, yes, a tennis, no, a ping pong oh. table, yes. Ah, okay, ping teacher. Ping table, very good, uh, Annette. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Very good participation, yes. You mentioned many, many things that you see in the picture. Now, let me ask, mm, let's go with Jacqueline. Jacqueline, what is in the picture, Jacqueline? What can you see in that picture? Mm -hmm. In the book, teacher. Book, very good. There are two books, very good. Crossing. Uh, mm, Mm. Diner, cook. Uh -huh, very good. The kitchen, the diner, very good. Singer. Very good. There are two girls singing. Very good, Jacqueline. Mm. The door, creo que es. Puerta, ¿eh? Yes, the door. There is a door. Very good. <laughs> Very good, Jacqueline. Amazing participation. Thank you so much. And now let's move on with the next picture. This one, the house. Let me ask. Hello, Carla. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Nice to have you here, Carla. Tell me what is in the, in the picture, Carla. In this one, in the house. What can you see? Uh, okay. Um, this uh, bed. Very good. There is a bed. Nice. And a lamp. A lamp. Very good. There is a lamp. The fan. Which one? Fan. Fan. It's ah, very the good. One. There is a fan. A very fan. good. Uh, the sofa. The sofa, very good. There is a sofa. And the table. The table, very good. Small table. And refrigerator. A refrigerator, very good. And kitchen, a uh, kitchen. Very good. There is a kitchen. The kitchen right here. Very good. Um, reloj. A, a clock. A clock. Very good. There is a clock. Very good, Carla. Great, great job. You mentioned many things. Thank you so much. And now let me ask Jose. Let's go with Jose. What can you see in the house, in the picture, Jose? I can see a window on the door. Very good. There is a window. Ah, this window. Yes. Very good. I can. There is a pool behind the house. Very good. Yes. 
there is a pool behind the house. Very good, Jose. And there is a dirty toilet. Mm -hmm. There is a toilet. Very good. Very good, Jose. Amazing job. You have a very good eyesight. I didn't see the pool, but you mentioned the pool. Very good. And now let me ask, Ronald, Ronald, what can you see in the pictures in the house? There is a, a boiler. There okay. is a, uh -huh, very a leader. Good. Mm -hmm. uh, the boiler is under the leader. Leader is escalera, but don't pitch. Under the stairs. Four escaleras. You can say stairs. 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 Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Stairs. Mm -hmm. There is a, a laundry. Mm, where is it? There. Very good. And there is a fan. A fan. Very good. There is a lamp. A lamp. Very good. And Only this teacher. Very good, Ronald. Very, very good. Thank you so much. And amazing job, everybody. You found many, many things in these pictures. So now we are ready to get started with the topic. So we have the use for their is. And let me ask Maria Rivera. Let's go with Maria. Can you help me read, Maria? The use. For there is and there are, please. We use there is and there are to say that sometimes exit or is in the place. In very good. In. Just one thing, Maria, can you help me read this one? Okay. Like this. Something. Something. Very good. And this one? Place. Place. Very good place. Thank you so much, Maria. Thank you for helping me read. So as you can see, there is and there are. We use it to show that something exists or is in a place, like in the pictures, right? There is a lamp. There is a fan. There is anything. And now we have some examples. And let me ask. Kaylin, Kaylin Olmedo, can you help me read Kaylin? These three examples. Kaylin, are you there? Can you help me read, please? please? There's a butterfly on the floor. On the flower, very good. There are big, big mice in San Salvador. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of traffic in Los Chorros. So, Very good. Just one thing, Kaylin. Can you help me read this one? Moles, like this. Moles. Moles. Very good. There are big malls in San Salvador, like Metro Centro, right? Or Multiplaza, big malls. And let's see, do you have any question with the use of there is and there are or everything fine? Questions so far? No question, teacher. Okay, thank you, Carla. So if you don't have questions, Let's move on to this one. The use of there is. And let me ask Marina, Marina Orellana, can you help me read this one? Marina, are you there? Let's see, let's see. Then let's go with Ceci. Can you help me read this one, Ceci? Uh, there is, we use there is for singular and uncountable nouns. 
Very good. For singular and uncountable nouns. So let's see, we have some examples to see how to use this one. And let's go with Jacqueline. Can you help me read these three, Jacqueline? There is, there is one table in the classroom. There is a spider on the wall. There is milk in the fridge. Very good. Just one thing, Jacqueline. This one, fridge, like this. Fridge. Fridge. Very good. Fridge. Thank you, Jacqueline. So here we have some examples. And let me ask. Let's see. Let me ask. Carla. Carla. What is singular, Carla? Singular. What is that? Singular is a uh, one object. One object. Very good, Carla. Thank you so much. That is correct. We use there is for singular, just one object. Look at this. There is one table in the classroom. Or there is a spider. One spider. Or uncountable nouns. For example, milk, right? There is milk in the fridge. And now let's continue with Jose. Can you help me read this one, Jose? The contraction of there is is there's. There's. There's, world, there's a world song on the radio. On the radio. Very good, Jose. Jose, sorry. So the contraction is there's. There's a good song on the radio. So questions with this one or everything clear? Okay. Thank you, Carla. So if you don't have questions, you are going to give me some examples using there is. There is. So let's begin with Maria, Maria Rivera. Can you give me one example, Maria, using there is? There is a apple in the table. Very good. There is an apple on the, on the table. Very good, Maria. Nice example. There is an apple on the table. Amazing, amazing. Now, let me ask, who else? Let me ask Rene. Can you give me one example, Rene, using there is? Okay, teacher. There are three using tables. There is. Ah, okay, teacher. There is um, a table in my house. Very good. There is a table in my house. Very good example, Rene. Thank you so much. And finally, let me ask Ronald. Can you give me one example, Ronald, using their ease? Uh, um. There is a, there is, there is a, there is a green color in the picture. In the picture. There is a green color in the picture. Very good, Ronald. Thank you so much. Very good job. And you did very good, guys. I see that you understood very well. So remember, there is for singular, for one thing. And now we are ready to go with the next one. Look at this. We have there are. And in this one, let me ask. Let's see. Let me ask. Kaylin, can you help me read this one, Kaylin, please? Kaylin Olmedo, can you help me read, please? Okay, then let's go with... We, mm -hmm. there are... 
plural noun. Very good for plural nouns. Thank you, Kaylin. And let me ask Jacqueline, what is plural Jacqueline? Do you remember what is plural? Five people. Very good. Plural is more than one. For example, five. Very good, Jacqueline. And let's see, just give me one second. Que un compañero quiere entrar y dice que no puede. Le vamos a enviar el link. A ver si puede. Just one second, guys. Okay, so plural. We use there are for plural nouns. And let me ask, Ceci, can you help me read these three examples, Ceci, please? Okay. Uh, there are five people in the classroom. There are two cats in my house. There are two elephants in the zoo. In the zoo. Very good, Ceci. Thank you so much. So as you can see in the examples, we have, for example, five or two, right? Plural. So any question with this one or everything clear? Feel free to ask if you have any questions. Okay, very good. So if you don't have questions, you are going to help me with some examples using there are. So let's go with Jose. Can you give me one example using there are, Jose? There are a lot of cats fighting in the street or on the street. A lot of cats? Fighting on the street. Fighting. Yeah. Very good. Fighting on the streets. Very good. That's an amazing example. There are a lot of cats fighting on the streets. Very good. The cats are fighting. And now let me ask. Let's see. Maria, Maria Rivera, can you give me one example using there are, Maria? There are two dogs, funny. Two dogs? Funny. Funny? Funny. Uh -huh. Like divertido? Divertido. Mm -hmm. Okay. But mm -hmm. in this case, we use there are when you want to say that something is in a place. Oh. For example, you can say there are two dogs in the house or two dogs oh, okay. in the park. Uh -huh. There mm -hmm. are two dogs in... Mm -hmm. in the park. In the park. Very good. In the park. In the park. Very good, Maria. Nice example. Remember, there is and there are to say that something is in a place or that something exists. For example, there are, um, let's see, there are a lot of malls in San Salvador. You are saying that a lot of malls are in that place, in San Salvador. And now the last example, let's go with Mar. Are you there, Mar? Can you give me one example using there are? You can do it. One example using there are. Okay, then let's go with Mari de Gonzalez. Hello, Mari. Can you give me one example using there are? Okay, teacher. There are uh, three flowers in my garden. There are? A three flowers in my garden. In my garden. Oh, no. my garden. 
Very good, Maddie. Thank you so much. There are three flowers in my garden. Very good, everybody. Nice examples. So now we are ready to continue with the next one. Remember, there are four plural. And we have the next one. We have the negative form. And let's see, Carla, can you help me read this one? The negative, the negative form. What is Carla? Okay, then let's go with René. Can you help me read this one, René? It's good. Um, the negative is formed by putting not as there is or are. There is not, there are not. There are not. Very good. Thank you so much, René, for, help, for helping me read. So in this one, like René said, we only add not. Look at this. There is not or there are not. That is the only difference. You add not after the verb be. And now let me ask. See. Let's go with. Jacqueline, can you help me read these three examples, Jacqueline, please? There is, a, there is a tree in the garden. There are two, two cars in the garage. There is not a dog in the house. In the house. Very good, Jacqueline. There is not a dog in the house. Just one thing with this one, Jacqueline. There isn't, like this. There isn't. There isn't. Very good. Thank you, Jacqueline, for helping me read. So, and in this one, we can also use contractions. So, let me ask Ronald, can you help me read the contractions, please? Okay, teacher, the contractions... There is no, there isn't, there are not, there aren't. There aren't. Very good, Ronald. Thank you for helping me read. And as you can see, guys, for the contractions, it's only a short form. There isn't is the same thing as there is not. And there are not is the same as there aren't. Okay, just a short form. Now, questions with this one? Feel free to ask if you have a question. Everything fine? No, teacher. Teacher, I'm sorry. Me se salió a mi. Cuando me preguntó, cuando encendí el micrófono, me sacó de la. Don't worry, Carla. It's okay. Don't worry. Now, now that you are back, can you help me with the first example? Negative. One sentence in the negative form. Carla, one sentence, one example. Using the negative. There is not or there are not. You choose. There is not a gear. Se puede decir, teacher. There is not a girl, yes. There is not a girl, and you can mention a place. For example, there is not a girl. For in example. the museum. In the? Museum. In the museum. Very good. There is not a girl in the museum. Very good, Carla, nice example. Thank you so much. And now, let me ask Marina. Hello, Marina. Hello, teacher. Can you give me one example, one negative example using this one? There is not or there are not. Okay. There is not a car in the in the parking. In the parking, very good. There is not a car 
in the parking lot. Okay. Very good, Marina. Amazing example. And finally, let's go with let's go with Jose. Can you give me one example, Jose? Using there are not. There are not five cars that I couldn't buy. There are not five five cars that I couldn't buy. There are not five cars that I couldn't buy. So in this case. We use there are, remember, to mention that something is in a place or that something exists. For example, you can say there are not five cars in my house or there are not five cars in the garage, in the garage, for example. Mm -hmm. So what do you think, Jose? Mention a place, for example, there are not five cars in the garage, in the park, on the street. Tell me one place. In, in the house of my friend. Very good. And there are not five cars in my friend's house. Very good. There are not five cars in my friend's house. Very good. Thank you so much, Jose, for the example. And now questions with this one, guys, or everything fine? Feel free to ask if you have a question. No questions? In this one, friend's house, friend's house is like saying the house of my friend. Is the same thing. In my friend's house is like saying in the house of my friend. But this one is more common, friend's house. So if you don't have a question, let's go with the next one. And look at these questions, how to create questions using there is or there are. So let's go with Ceci. Can you help me read this one, Ceci, please? Okay. Uh, to follow questions, we play is are in front of there. Is there, are there. Are there. Very good, Ceci. Thank you for helping me read. So. As you can see, for the questions, the only difference is that the verb be is be before there. Instead of saying there is, we are going to say is there. And in this one, are there. Okay, that is how we start the question. Is there? And then a complement. Are there? And then a complement. So we have some examples of the questions. And let's go with Maria. Maria, can you help me read these examples, Maria? These three questions. Mm. Is, there a, is there a dog in the supermarket? No, there is not. Are there polar beer in the um, Antarctica? Mm -hmm. Not very. Are is there ice cream in the freezer? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Very good, Maria. And in this one, as you can see, we have is and then there. Are and then there. And these are some short answers, okay? You can answer in a short form. Is there a dog in the supermarket? No, there isn't. So, 
questions with this one, guys, on how to create these ones? No questions. Feel free to ask. Okay, great. So if you don't have questions, you are going to help me again with some examples, okay? You are going to create the question. And let's begin with, let's begin with Mari de Gonzalez. Can you give me one question, Mari? Okay, is there can you repeat Mary please I, I couldn't hear you very well a book apple teacher manzana apple very good. On the table. On the table. Very good, Maddie. Thank you so much. Is there an apple on the table? Very good. So now let me ask for another question. And in this one, let's go with Desi. Can you give me one example using is there or are there? Uh, is there a, a dog in the in the bed? Uh, yes, the, there is. Very good. Yes, there is. That could be the short answer. Very good. Ceci, just one thing. Remember, when something is on... This is when something is on. For example, the dog is on the bed, on the bed. For example, the bottle of water is on my hand, on. So in this case, we use on instead of in. Okay. But very good example. And finally, let me ask Ronald, can you give me one question, Ronald? Using are there. Okay, teacher. Is there a using are there in the ah are there mm -hmm. are there are there dolphins in the ocean on the Atlantic Ocean? The Atlantic. I you said dolphins. Are there there dolphins? In the Atlantic Ocean. Atlantic Very good. Ocean. Very good example, Ronald. Thank you so much. Are there dolphins in the, Atl in the Atlantic Ocean? And can you give me the short answer, Ronald? How can you answer this question in the short form? Um, yes, there is. Yes, there are. Very there good. Aren't. Yes, there are. Very good examples, guys. And let's see one example, the last example. And this one, let me ask. Jose, can you give me the last example? A question, Jose. Is there, wait, is there a, bottle, a glass bottle on the street? On the fridge, right? On the fridge. In the fridge. Is there a glass? Is there a glass bottle in the fridge? And how can you answer this question, Jose? The short form. On why in the short form, the yes, the you can say yes or no. A short yes. answer. Mm -hmm. There are. But Here. why in the fridge? Ah, why? Mm -hmm. In the fridge? Because we use in when something is inside. For example, let me, um, this pen is in my hand. 
Look at this, it's in my hand, in. Or let me give you an example. For example, this one. My glasses, imagine that I take off my glasses. Imaginamos que me los quito and I, I put my glasses in, in this one, inside, right? That's why we use in when something is inside and on when it's on the top, right? On, is that better? Yeah. Okay, very good. So thank you guys for the examples. And now, let's see. Now that we learn how to use there is and there are, we are going to practice. But before we go to the exercises, let me ask you just to refresh. Let's see, Jacqueline. Jacqueline, we use there is for singular or for plural, Jacqueline? What do you think? Plural, teacher. Plural? There is? No, singular. Very good. That's true, Jacqueline. For singular. And finally, let me ask. Kaylin, we use there are singular or plural? Kaylin? Plural. Very good for plural. Very good, Kaylee. Just keep that in mind. And now we are ready to practice a little bit. For this activity, we are going to answer some questions, okay, with this short short forms so are there two windows let's begin with marina marina is going to be the first participant maria are there two windows in the picture a b c or d what do you think Marina Orellana, are there two windows in this picture, in this bedroom? Okay, then let's go with Mari de Gonzalez. Mari, are there two windows in this picture? Let us see, teacher. Yes, there are. Very good. Yes, there are. Look at that. Very good, Mari. And let's go with Let's go with Ceci. Is there a picture? Is there a picture? Uh, yes. There is? Very good. Yes, there is. Amazing, Ceci. Yes, there is. Now, let's go with Scaling, are there two tables in this picture? In this picture, Kaling? Yes or no? Yes, there are. Very good. Yes, there are. Amazing, Kaling. Now, number four. It's four. This one goes to René. Is there a wardrobe in the picture, René? A wardrobe. No sé qué quiere decir wardrobe, teacher. Let me show you. This is a wardrobe. Let me show you a picture. This one. This is a wardrobe. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. That is a wardrobe. So now let's go back to the picture. Is there um, a wardrobe? Yes, there is, teacher. Yes, there is. 
Let's see. In this case, let's see. Uh, okay. This one, a wardrobe, look at this. A wardrobe is bigger. Okay. Here we have. No. So no, this one. There isn't. Very good. No, there isn't. As you can see, these ones. Sí, por lo pequeño pensé, teacher. Yes, yes, but don't worry, don't worry. A wardrobe is a big one. So in that case, no, there isn't. And now we go with the next one. Let's see, let me ask Carla. Carla, what do you think? Are there two chairs? No, there aren't. Two chairs. Let's see, no, there aren't. Very good, Carla. There aren't two chairs. Now, who else? Let me ask. Jose, Jose, is there a bookshelf? Is there a bookshelf, Jose? Yes, no. Very good. Yes, there is a bookshelf. Now, this one goes to, let's see. This one is for Ronald. Ronald, is there a ball? No, there isn't, teacher. Very good. No, there isn't a ball. And who is missing? Let's see. Jacqueline, are there two beds? Jacqueline, are there two beds? Jacqueline Benitez? No. <laughs> what do you think? Are there two beds, Jacqueline? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Okay, but remember, when you have two, it's plural, uh, right? Yes, there are. Very good. Yes, there are. And now let me ask, let's see. Marina, Marina Orellana, is there a wardrobe? Is there a wardrobe, Marina? What do you think? Mm -hmm. A wardrobe, let me show you. This is a wardrobe. For example, this is a wardrobe, Marina. A big one. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you, is there a wardrobe in this picture, Marina? Yes or no? What do you think? Okay, don't worry. Then let me ask. Mm, let's see. Let's go with Carla. Carla, is there a wardrobe in this picture? Yes, there is. Very good. Yes, there is. So here we had this activity, guys. You did very good. So remember, we use there is and there are to say that something is in a place or that something exists in a place. So we are going to go with the next activity. And here you can find more exercises to practice. Si le dan click a los icons, you can find more activities to practice in your free time if you want to. And finally, we have this speaking activity. So, you are going to tell me what is in your house, okay? You are going to describe your house. This is an example. In my house, there are three bedrooms, one living room, and one kitchen. 
In my bedroom, there is a bed and there are two nightstands. There is a mirror. And in my living room, there are two sofas, there is a TV, there is a picture. So you are going to describe your house. Is that clear? Or do you have a question? No questions? Yes? Okay, very good. So if you don't have questions, Let's go with the first participant. And the first participant is going to be Ronald. Let's go with Ronald. What is in your house, Ronald? In, in my house are two television. Mm -hmm. are, are two mirror. Mm -hmm. There are three living rooms mm -hmm. and, and there is a kitchen. In my bedroom, there is a bed mm -hmm. and, and there is a wardrobe. Mm -hmm. a, a wardrobe, very good. And, and how do you say, how do you say Maca in, in English? A maca, you can say a hammock. A hammock. Mm -hmm. and, and I have a, and there, there is a, a hammock. And there is a bedroom. Solo eso. Hey, very good, Ronald. Very good job. Very good description of your house. And let's see, Ronald, choose the next participant. Okay. The next participant, Carla. Carla, very good. Thank you, Ronald. So let's go with Carla. Carla, what's in your house, Carla? Okay, teacher. In my house, there are to bedroom and there is um a living room a uh, one kitchen mm -hmm. there are there is um bathroom one bathroom and there are Three televisions. Three. And three <laughs> yes. <laughs> and three sofas. And one garage. And mm -hmm. one car. And the garden. And the garden. Very good, Carla. Very, very good job. Very good description of your house. And it's impressive. You have three TVs. And tell me, where are the TVs? In the living room or, for example, in each bedroom? In, in two bedrooms and mm -hmm. a living room. And in the living room. Okay, that's nice. Very good, Carla. Choose the next participant. Okay. Um... Jacqueline Benitez. Jacqueline, very good. So let's go with Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Uh, <laughs> go ahead. Those two bedrooms. Bir uh, bedrooms. Um, one kitchen. Mm -hmm. um, two TV. Mm -hmm. My living there is three sofas. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, very good. 
very nice description. Mm -hmm. And let's see, just one thing. Don't don't forget to use there is and there are. Uh, for, for example, you can mention like this. You you did you did good. Okay, just one thing. For example, you can say there are two bedrooms. Okay. Or there is one kitchen. Uh -huh. What else? You mentioned another sentence. Es que se me ha ido la palabra de comedor. No, dining room, like this. Dining room. Uh, there is dining room. Very good. There is a dining room. And the last sentence, Jacqueline. The last one. Um, they are... Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> Living room... Uh, uh -huh, they, they they is one kitchen and there is my house uh, is a small. <laughs> very good there is a living room very good Jacqueline nice example there is a living room a dining room very good and now Jacqueline choose the last participant Jacqueline, choose the last participant. Mm. Cecilia Caballero. Cecilia, okay, thank you, Jacqueline. So let's go with Ceci. What's in your house? Uh, in my house, in my, my house, there are three bedrooms. Uh, there is one living room. There are one, one kitchen. Uh, in my living room, there are three sofas, uh, there is one TV, there is one radio, and there is one hammock. Very good, and there is one hammock. Very good, Ceci. And the last, the very last participant, Ceci. Choose the last participant. Um, Jose. Jose, very good. So let's go with... Jose, what's in your house, Jose? In my house, there are three bedrooms. Mm -hmm. One dining room and one kitchen. Very in good. In my bedroom, there is a desk. And in the dining room, there is a picture of my parents. Very good. There is a people cooking. No, yes. There is a person or a people. Okay. Very good job, Jose. Very good participation. Thank you so much for that description. And thank you, everybody. You did amazing. And before we go, just the last reminder. There is for singular and there are for plural. So, for example, if there are... So, if I say there is three bedrooms, we have to change there is for are, right? There are three bedrooms, okay? R for plural and is for singular. So before we go, do you have any question, guys, or everything was fine? No questions? No, no question. Okay, thank you, thank you. If everything is clear, See, that is it for today, guys. Thank you for joining. Thank you for participating and for paying attention. And remember, if you have any question with the platform, you can text in the group chat.
and I'll be happy to help or your other classmates can help you as well. So see you tomorrow, guys. Take care. Have a good night. Bye, bye, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Bye-bye. See you.